guys, James here today, and welcome back to The Sims Medieval. Uh, we are back in our empty castle because I chose the empty one instead of filling it with. Apparently, there was an option to fill it or have it empty. I know, I know we can like we can furnish it at any time, which we will do. But I apparently there was an option to just have it default furniture, which I didn't do. But anyway, who cares about that? Let's get up and get some food. What up? What up, peeps? Give me some food, Caitlin the servant. I can't. Uh, well, I'm not sleeping though. I'm getting up. All right, give me uh, give me food though, because I'm kind of hungry. Then we got to do our next task. So actually, what I realized after I finished recording last time is it doesn't let you save. It's like saving the game is disabled during the tutorial, and I was like, wow, really? So I actually had to replay everything for this video because for some for bizarre reason it doesn't let you save. Like that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Is you cannot save. At the bit, like it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, what if I need to go somewhere or do something? Like, I did need to go somewhere. I needed to stop playing, and I couldn't save. Um, I'm gonna make my own bed. I don't need servants to do that. Hell to the yeah. Hey, thanks for the food. You didn't pick that up. Uh, do you want to eat the meat soup? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And then his needs will be great. I mean, he has two needs. So, right. Okay. So we gotta go here, and I'll need to write a letter of hire to find the royal, the right royal advisor. Uh, right letter of hire. Let's go. I'm pretty sure we didn't do this last I, I think we got up to this bit last time. All right, so now we have to send up the letter of hire, which I believe we do out here. So we're going to go send a letter of hire. We're not going to donate to the poor. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Some fool. I am not a fool. I am the king of the north. Oh, wait, actually. No, wait, where are we? Because there is, there is actually a map, right? King, no, not kingdom. Hang on. How do I? Territory map. Here we go. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe like northeast, king of the northeast, I guess, because this is like northwest and then south. All right, no, northeast, king of the northeast. Then we'll go with. All right. Um, <clears throat> so that's just a regular furnish button. I was because I did discover this button before. I was hoping that would um, just do the default furnishing thing, but it just goes into furnishing mode, which I will actually use. Um, I do we have a uh, Mr. L like red carpet or something? Change single tile, change all small tile. What? Oh, okay. Why can't you just hold down shift and do it like normal Sims? Okay, you can. Uh, wood tile. Where is carpet? They don't have it, so I guess we're gonna. Oh god, all these categories are confusing. Comfort? No. Light? No. Decor. Rugs. Here we go. We want like a red run. Oh, here we go. Something like that. Maybe under it? Under the throne? Yeah! Can we get another one? Yeah! Nice! And then maybe we... It said throne room, so I feel like there should be some seating in here, right? I think... I, I don't know. I don't know what the default furnishing of a throne room is. Uh, comfort. We want some sofas and love seats. Maybe like some of these guys. Eddie. Maybe these. Oh no, those are really gross. What about... Is there... Wait, is there... A, there are larger ones. We can get, we could just get a large one. Let's get some of these. Alright, so we'll, we'll get some seats in here. Can I turn the grid on so I can see where I'm putting it? Oh, okay, I actually wanted to duplicate. Duplicate it! Uh, I'm not going to overdo it because I feel like we'll never use this. It's mostly just for decoration. But we'll get we'll get three rows, that'll be enough. Uh, what else could we use in a throw? Maybe we could have some sidekicks. Some people that sit next to me. It's actually a banquet, ch banquet chair. Oh, you can't middle mouse wheel on these. I actually just have to... Oh, no, here we go. I totally forgot how to, like, color in this game. Um, now, maybe... Uh, maybe not too extravagant, then. Maybe we just do... <laughs> not too extravagant. Does that. Oh, that's kind of cool. I just want some sidekick chairs. The ones that look kind of interesting, but not too over the top. You know? But not too underdone, either. See, I, I think this one is probably the best. So let's actually recolor this, because it's not the right color. I'm going to match it to these. So I'm gonna grab that wood on there, onto there, and then maybe can I can I match this? I can match that. Get that onto the chair. Beautiful. I actually don't like the wood on this at all. I, that was that was a bad. The wood was a bad choice. Can we do like the marble with it? I see that looks like a marble. Well, that looks ridiculous because that's clearly a wooden pattern. Um, no, I, I mean we can do wood. But I think it maybe just should be darker because I think the same color was a bit. Too lame. Too lame. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people were like, why did you put a Gryffindor in purple? But I, I feel like I explained it in the video was that we put it in purple because it's a royal color. Um, but also, like as far as the Harry Potter references goes, it like, kind of starts and ends with the name. 
and maybe some of the traits, but that was kind of it. That, that, that's all we're referencing with Harry Potter. I was mostly just so I could call the place Hogwarts. Um, a bit of fun. Uh, oh, we can get different thrones. Oh, wait, so we have this one. Five, no, we got to upgrade our throne. Which throne? Look, well, I guess which one looks the best? This one actually looks pretty damn cool. There's, the, there's actually the cheapest one too. Oh, oh yeah, it is the cheapest one. Oh, what about this though? Like, this is the most expensive, but it doesn't seem like it's that impressive though, you know? Uh, what else do we have? Bast I don't want bastles. Surfaces. Do they have... Oh, we have altars? We should probably get like an altar or something, right? Um, Oh my good lord. Majestic altar of merciful watcher. Well, we can get this. Hell yeah, we're getting this. Hell yeah! We're not we're not cheaping out. We got money. Wait, how much money do I have? Eight thousand? Yeah, we got loads of money. Now you go that actually clips through that, but that's fine. What other default colours do they have on this? Uh which one? Because I, I don't really want it. Probably that actually just now it is actually annoying me that it does clip through that. So we just put it forward a little bit. I, but now we got some room. Can I build walls? Nope, that's gone into that. Hang on, sorry. I don't think I can build walls. Uh, furnish. Which is unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna fl oh, no, wall, no wall patterns. Structural. Miscellaneous objects. Oak board. What the hell is this? Oh, I just got another wall. Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess, but not what I want. Can I just put, like, I just want a wall to block it. So people can't go there. I don't think it's going to happen. Now... Well, actually, hang on. What can you do with the, the altar? Like, is it... I need to have a look at this. What? I can view it. That's literally all I can... Oh, God. I keep doing the wrong thing. So, I can just view it. So, it doesn't seem that it matters if I put this in front of it. So, I'm going to put that in front of it. I'm going to get the chairs put there. And, no, actually, I'll keep the chairs... Oh, yeah, I'll keep them where they were. Sort of right by the side. Like that. Oh, that'll be fine. Okay, so now we have this weird space. Hang on. At the back, which I, I can't really do anything about. But it was it was annoying me more that it was clipping through than then we have a space at the back. I think it's probably fine. Uh, all right. Decor. Uh, mirrors. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the greatest interior decorator of them all? You better say The Sim Supply or James or Samaj as your answer. Are these, any of these actually wall mirrors? That is. I was hoping we get like huge mirrors, but I guess not. Um, wall decor. Five thousand dollars it's also too high up <laughs> and so is that these walls are actually kind of wait hang on how do you move stuff up and down this game no that's left and right oh you can like real oddly smoothly place things in this game you could not do this in sims 3 oh no yes you could was that an alt yeah alt but oh maybe it didn't work with paintings in Sims 3 though. how do i move stuff up and down i can't remember there's definitely click and drag i don't know how to play well, I'm not spending $5,000 on that tapestry or whatever the hell that was. Um, yeah, I don't know how to move stuff. Is there something that's large that I can put there now? Please? Oh, here we go. Okay, well, that's, again, behind that thing. I guess it's not as bad this time because it's, it's a banner, so it doesn't really matter that it's sort of behind that. Um, can I put that all the way up? No. Put some food over here, though. What else can I do? I can do like this. I want like, um, do we have like knight statues or something? What's this? Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. that. That's what you want. This is totally what you want. Look at this place. Freaking hell, this place is awesome. I mean, I'm only furnishing the throne room, so there's not going to be anything else in here. Uh, I want to make sure they're in line. There we go. What else do we have? Some stones and crystal ball and... Some banners. I guess we can get we can get some banners, like standing ones. How much are these? It can't be too expensive, right? Sixty-five. That's all right. We'll get we'll get four of these. Lots of red because I guess Gryffindor. Now now we are doing red. Um, okay. What else do we have in here that could be useful? Lighting. Uh, is there like a nice standing one? These are actually all. Oh wait. You know what? Let's go to the standing category. There you go. <laughs> Idiot. Um, <laughs> no, no, oh, actually, that could be okay. I want ones that go at the end of the pews that look like they should be there. No, that's all outdoorsy. That's very outdoorsy. It's okay. That's a torch. Mm, sort of one that sort of looks like it belongs. Not what I meant to do. 
Uh, whoops, again, not what I meant to do. I could do this, but how much is that though? 150 again, now let's cheap out a little bit here. Uh, do the cheapest one, I reckon. How close can I get? Does this game have move objects? Move objects on. Unknown command. Really? Did I do it wrong? Is it different in Sims? Oh my god, I can't remember. Move objects true. No, it definitely wasn't that. I don't think it has move objects. It probably does, but it's probably different. Well, I'm going to get those like that. Just on that side. I'm, I was going to put them down the middle. Oh, I guess I, I mean, I, I guess I still could. But I think they go on the rug a little bit. Yeah, they'd be on the rug. Which I'm not too happy about. I guess just that's fine. Uh, down over here is real dark. Maybe we can get some of these to like light up or something. Unfortunately, the problem I have with it is it doesn't really match the other guys. I want to put that there and that there so it sort of goes behind the gap but lights it up a little bit. Looking good. Can I duplicate? I can duplicate. Okay. Because this place is freaking dark, I'll tell you what. Get another one. Okay, well, we got 4,200 bucks. What else can we do in here? Uh, structural, that was all this stuff. Fireplaces, we don't need that. Banner, oh, that's cool. It just goes on the floor. It's like a little fence. That's weird. So you build fen you build fences piece by piece instead of just clicking and dragging. Yeah, they don't have they don't have wall functionality in this game, which I guess you don't need. But I don't know what to do in here. I mean, decorated, I guess, but with what? Um, okay. Well, first of all, we have got two rooms either side here. I guess one of them should probably. Well, actually, you know, first of all, this room is. Why is there a cooking thing in my room? Get out! Get out of my quarters! You can go in there. This can go in the bathroom, which I guess will be there. And you know what? This is gonna. No, I guess yeah, that will. Yeah, that'll be the bed. Okay, well, actually, what beds do we have? Sure, we can get a bed fit for a king. Not that one. These, I don't know. These don't look as... This looks good. Ooh, no, this one. Wait. This one for sure. Uh, energy 9, environment 5. I guess this is probably the best. No, it's actually not... That's actually worse. Energy, energy 8, but it has a better environment. I totally want this bed, though. Absolutely want that bed. Get rid of that piece of crap. Beautiful! Alrighty! I think this is going to be a furnishing episode. Oh my lord, look at this. This is actually kind of cool. I, I do like that rug. It seems like something you would totally have too. I'm going to put it there. I mean, would you have it in the bedroom though? <laughs> Maybe down here. Maybe let's put it in this room. Yeah, as you come in the door. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense. So you come in the door and there's like this... I don't know who it is. Maybe it's the future queen or something. Um... I mean, we'll have the writing desk, actually, well, whatever, I mean, it looks like a writing desk. We'll have that there, we can have the planning table maybe right in the middle here. Or wh whatever that was called. It had a name, I don't know what it was called, I can't remember. We'll have that there. Um, Alright, let's go back upstairs. Uh, this is going to be a bathroom, so we want like a tile or something. Uh, sure, lovely. Lovely! And then we want some nice wallpaper. Paint contiguous area. Paint one top. I don't know why they have specific things of this. Oh my. This is awesome. And actually you can move the pattern as well, which you could not do in Sims 3. So yeah, it's got some nice changes in it. This is actually really incredible. <laughs> like some of these things are anyway. Hang on. So if we do... No, no, no. Okay, one at a time. So we do something like that. 35. Is there actually like a cool pattern we could do? No. Uh, so wait, what else do we have? Miscellaneous. What's in here? What is this? Oh, that's actually all right. Well, that's just a thing. I s oh, yes. Oh, is that what they're using down here? No, they didn't. Oh, this is totally going to go in this room. <gasps> it goes all the way up to the ceiling too. Not on all the walls because that look ridiculous. Let's just do it on this wall. Oh, the pattern kind of got screwed up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> that is cool. I like that. Why don't we have that pattern in Sims 3? That's cool. And then maybe we can get this on another wall, maybe? Like at the back or something? I want something cool behind... Not books. It can't be books. That'd be ridiculous. Maybe this can go... Somewhere like... Obviously not the whole room, because that looks absolutely horrendous. Uh, what about... Hang on, if we go look wall patterns again. No, maybe one, one of these might be able to go somewhere. Nope. Again, I guess all these can change colors as well, so that's something i got to keep in mind. No, I think the, the actual castle stone, I don't mind. 
Maybe we should have... I think we should have this pattern, but maybe not... Do we want it behind the throne? I think that's too full on. Or at least we have to change this, because it doesn't really look like it fits in anymore. Uh, let's see, rock and stone. Purple stone, I think. So maybe like a big, huge marble one. Actually, let's get this. Let's get this color, put it on there. Yep, here we go. Yeah, yeah, accept. And then get the gold and put it on here as the gold trims. I feel like it could be a little bit more gold. It looks like it could be goldier. Maybe, actually, I think it's just because it's not light enough. Uh, if we can get it to be brighter over here, maybe, or like be more gold. It won't let me, though. What about wall lights? We might be able to get some lights here to illuminate this a little bit better, maybe. No, that's awful. I really want, oh, I want a powerful, a powerful light. I actually think this one was pretty good. And I've run out of money. All right, never mind. We're not gonna, I'm not going to place one light and look like a fool. So, I mean, we started the bathroom. We haven't really done anything. We're going we're gonna to have to get around to that. Although, to be fair, they, I mean, he doesn't need to use a bathroom. It's kind of just... What was it? Is it, is it a comfort item? Where were the tubs? Collection. There's somewhere in here. Something that we didn't actually need, but it was like a... Was it, wait, was it even a tub? Maybe it was. Maybe it was like a trough. I didn't actually read what it was. Where is it? Where the hell did I find that? Storage. Full of, no, it's not going to be full of items. Decor, maybe? No. Maybe it must be domestic, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, no, it's totally a bathtub. So, yeah, we can, we can have a bathtub. Okay, cool. Right, well, that's... I mean, that's all we can do for now because we don't have any more money. But that's... I mean, that's not bad. Now, let's save our work. Oh, wait. We're in the tutorial, you stupid game. So, if the game crashes, I'm screwed. Uh, ask for advice, I think is what I'm supposed to do. Ask Royal Advisor Diane for advice. Okay, I will. Look, I mean, the throne lo room looks pretty sweet now. I actually really like that. It's coming along. Uh, no, I do not wish to exit the game. Did, did you go ask her for advice? What's happening? I feel like you didn't do what I told you to do. All right, let's go. Let's roll. All right, my lord, to be honest, this throne room is a bit lacking. You need to... F Are you serious? I literally... Oh my god. If I had waited one activity to do that, it would have been fine. But I think I think it's probably okay. Uh, use the catalog to do this and I just want to advance in the tutorial. You can rotate. Can I just go back to live mode now? Am I done? Please tell me I'm done and I don't have to do that. No, I think it still wants me to do something. Uh, so I think it wants me to purchase an item, which is actually really annoying. How about a chamber pot next to my bed? All right, I'm done. <laughs> All right, sweet. I got a chamber pot. We have, what's the, we have 256 in funds. All right, so we need to now um, declare throne room open. Uh, it is pretty sweet, so I will declare it open. Do I have to do it on one of these or something? Oh, actually, I think I click on myself because I did actually do this before. Declare throne room open. When I was trying to, I was just trying to save before, so I was just trying to do a few tasks to see if the tutorial was nearly done, but it, it went on too long. I was like, we're going to miss everything. Much better, my lord. I would even suggest an official proclamation. Yeah, I already that. It's not a bad idea to consider opening more relationships with our neighbor nation. Take a peek at the tactical map. Before I continue, uh, I should take a peek at the tactical map. All right, I think I go here. No, nope. what does it want me to do? View, oh yeah, view political situation. It was that. I was right. All right, so what does it want me to do? Just have a look. Many generations, I mean, we seem to be pretty friendly with everyone. I guess that's probably just a neutral friendliness. Uh, trade import, imports, minerals and ores. So we could sell the minerals and ores and trades mushroom, two mushrooms for wood. You guys want her and spice or oh, herbs and seeds and you'll give me barley six barley for gems okay cool right as hogwarts expands so will the number of territories i can explore speaking of expanding i wonder if build master darren has finished taking inventory of the resources uh let's go check discuss future of kingdom again is that what i'm supposed to be doing i don't actually know uh what will you build highness all right there are enough resources here the builders are ready only one question rem remains my lord what will you build 
Alrighty, now a lot of reading to do here. Let's get reading! Congratulations, Godric has reached Monarch level 2. Review your sim simology for new profession uh, benefits. A monarch is a sole ruler of the land. Yeah, I know. Great responsibility falls on the sim, as his or her relationship and decisions affect everyone in the kingdom. Level 2 benefits. Can strategize and pass uh, edicts at the tactical map. Can hold court on the throne. Uh, restful dance. Combat uh, tone unlocked. Cool. Uh, fighting proficiency slightly increased. Do I hear him as advanced to a new level? Would you like to... Well, I can't click that. I have to read this first. Congratulations on completing your first quest. You can now see your overall quest performance on the left page. Your quest performance determines the level of your quest rewards on the right page. Rest rewards. Sim rewards. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, your kingdom results include resources, which you spend to place new buildings. The sims, uh, the sim rewards show that your monarch earns uh, simoles, money to purchase things in furnished mode, uh, as well as experience points. Okay, cool. Right. Congratulations. You've completed your first quest. Among your rewards, you've gained resources as well as improved kingdom aspects. Click on the arrow in the kingdom status box to see the aspects. All right. Um, here you see the aspects panel. Your goal is to build up your kingdom aspects, which you have begun by completing your first quest. Cool. That's good to know. You can now purchase a new building using your resources. Select any green map marker to make your purchase. After you place a building, you will choose a new sim hero. Okay. Uh, this concludes the tutorial. Oh, but then now the tutorial is done. If you need any help. Okay, so, well, first of all, bloody save. Thank the Lord. All right, so any green map marker. Uh, where do I want to build? Does that have to be a specific thing? Smithy, market. So I guess are these specific things. Tavern. I don't want to build a tavern right now. Uh, oh, you know what? I could. I could. I could go for a drink. Oh, we'll build a tent. Right? Or maybe we should get like defenses or something. But let's get let's get a smithy. Um, Starting funds, 2,000. Starting funds, 1,000. Place building furnished, please. I don't want to have to furnish it. All right. Would you like to learn about selecting a quest? Not now, because I feel like I know how to do it. The Smithy is a workshop where all manner of tools, weapons, and armor are manufactured. Awesome. Okay. So you can go away now, and I can go to quests and have a look at a quest and just accept one, I guess. It's a lot of stuff here. All right. So... Let's see, Crab Bandit, a mysterious rumor was circulating around town. A beast lurked below the depths of Hogwarts. Oh, oh my god, it's a basilisk. It's a basilisk, guys. There's a basilisk in Hogwarts in the Chamber of Secrets. I knew it. The stories were coming from too many sources to be simple folklore. Was this beast a monster with plans to destroy? It's, it's totally a basilisk. It's absolutely a basilisk. And then I choose one of these, but I guess I can't choose that because I don't have the requirement of a black... Oh, do I need... Oh, hang on. Well, hold up. How do I make a new hero? Because I guess I need to make the blacksmith. Is that what I need to do? It told me that I needed to do that, but I uh, didn't really listen. I'm going to be honest. Um... Oh, right. Needs a blacksmith. Here we go. All right. So create blacksmith. I don't really want to create one. Donna Oaks. Uh, she is... E oh, okay. Can we... Can I please edit that? Oh. All right. Excitable. Chivalrous. Bloodthirsty, a bloodthirsty blacksmith. I mean, he's excitable and chivalrous, so I mean, it's better than evil and adve I guess adventurous is good. Insecure, insecure and evil do not seem like good combinations. Like, I like Donna Oaks, but look, your traits are terrible. Um, cool. All right, so now we got the blacksmith. Now we can, if we want to do the quest and use a blacksmith, we can do that. All right, so yeah, crab band. So we can use the blacksmith if we want. So. Approach a powerful ally, uh, crab hammer. So I guess these are my so okay. So there was always room for a new alliance in a growing kingdom, especially an alliance that contributed to the safety of the people. Such partnerships could often be found in the strangest of places. Could a subterranean kingdom hold the key to Hogwarts? Or a rare mineral has been found with unknown properties. Could the origin of the mineral be more mysterious than anyone? Uh, what does that have to do with a beast? I don't really understand. Let's do this just because we, we can use the blacksmith, right? Something new. And I choose my blacksmith. A mysterious rumor was circulating. Okay, no, I read that. Cool. Uh, I re okay, I read that too. Let's just do this. All right, so now... The oh, look at this place. This place is awesome. Now in the blacksmith, I have to wait for ore seller to arrive. Okay. Stock with coal. Another day of forging coming up fast, though I've heard that a seller of rare ores is in town. Perhaps he has some materials that could help ease my burden. Oh, yeah. Ease my burden, daddy. 
Where are you? Uh, I'm going to assume it's probably you because you're on your way here. Right, there I am. Hello. Oh, here you are. Ah, as you arrived, checking to see what's in stock. All right, so I want to just, I guess, check stock. Ask about stock. Okay, ask about stock. All right, what up, dude? What stock have you got? Hi there, Journeyman uh, Smith Kevin. I... That, is that my name? Journeyman? Really? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I've got some great ore for sale today. Cheaper than anything you'll find in the town. Interested in having a look? Alrighty, so... I've got all the ore... No, I'll have a look, obviously. Oh my god. What the hell? Should... Buy any mithril? Any ferrous? Any electrum? I don't... Um, yeah, sure. Two for 100. How much money do we have? A thousand. Sure, I guess. Five for a hundred. Sure. I'm going to use all my blacksmith money. I mean, why not? Okay, now I did that. So buy... Did I not do that? Oh. I probably should have done that. I think I might run out of money. Buy... I, I swear I did this. Didn't I just already buy this stuff? Uh, buy mithril. Okay. I'm pretty sure I just... I'm doubling. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no. Did it add it to my list? Because it's taking the money, but it's not taking any more money. Okay. I guess I added it to my list or something, and now I pay for it. Electrum. Alrighty. Bye, Electrum. Ah. Thanks, dude. Slake, what the hell? Alrighty. Cool. So that's that. Uh, now we need to look at Franklin's rare mineral. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. I had you got a uh, rare mineral. Where do you keep it? In your pants? Because that's where I want to look. For it, buddy. Oh. oh, it's a package and everything. Hey, <laughs> nice package, bro. I've never seen material like this. Every smith I've met has tried forging this material. Oh, mineral, sorry, with no luck. At this point, I'm just looking for someone to take it off my hands. Go ahead and keep it. Maybe someone in this kingdom will know what to do with it. All right, well, that was easy. So go talk to this person. Wait, what do you want me to do? Ask about? Yeah, ask about rare mineral. All right, see so yeah, how blacksmith's closed. Vwah! Look at us all going as a little group, too. That's so cute. Look at this throne room, it's awesome. Intriguing. I remember seeing a similar material in the mines beneath Hogwarts. The superstitious builders actually feared it. Said the deposits reminded them of giant crabs. Perhaps you'll find more answers in the mines. Maybe I will, and maybe I won't. Eye of the Watcher. Where are the mines? They're over here, aren't they? Uh, search for rare minerals. Let's go. Find more answers in the mines. Da 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 da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh, here we go. All right, Journeyman Smith Kevin. What the stupid name is that? Ventured deep into the cave. After some time, he came across a large deposit of the rare mineral. Well, that was easy. He had to hand it to the build master Darren. It, it, it did indeed look like some kind of giant crab. Journeyman Smith Kevin. God, that's a long name. I'm just going to call him Journeyman. Or maybe Journey. Or Jay. JJ. Call him JJ. JJ took out his pickaxe and began attacking the uh, mineral. They keep switching between mineral and material. That's why I keep doing it wrong. So it's not my fault. No matter how he swung, not a single piece could be chipped from its surface as he peered closely at the mineral. Attempting to find a tiny crack or seam, a massive claw suddenly exploded up through the rock and shattered it completely. JJ jumped back, narrowly avoiding the razor-sharp debris. A horrible creature rose up before JJ. The blacksmith slowly backed away, stepping over uh, cracked chunks of the mineral deposit. With horror, he realized that the deposits were not rock at all, but crab shells shed by the beast. The wretched thing was making them. JJ turned and scrambled back through the cave as fast as he could. Ooh, it's the basilisk, guys. It's a, I really wish it was a basilisk. That would have been a great reference to Harry Potter in the actual game. Um, apparently we have a... Uh, Oh, no, it's a box. I thought that was a post box. It's a box with power. By the Watcher, the crab beast must be shedding the uh, material whenever it grows too large for its shell. If only I could harvest those shells, but I can't even put a dent in them. All right, so I want to go return to Smithy. All right, which is the name of the blacksmith, which is a stupid name. I'm not going to lie. If, can I rename it? Because that'd be cool. Wait, the crab cleaved through that shell like it was spun glass. Could it be, could his own shell be the only thing powerful enough to harvest the other deposits? All I need to do is make a tool out of the piece I already have, then all those crab shells will be mine. Alrighty, craft a crab hammer. Craft it. I don't know what I'm quick enough to do it. Forge, I guess. 
crab hammer. I need phosphorus. Wait, so uh, what did I actually... Hang on, hold up. <laughs> hold up. I wanted a... Uh, yeah, I do want a crab hammer. Okay. Is this my mineral dealer? <laughs> my mineral dealer. I don't think I can buy anything from him. All right, hold up. So successfully mined three times. Okay, where do I do that though? Because I need phosphorus. So forge. Uh, crab hammer. Uh, phosphorus. Where can we get that? Um, successfully mined three times. Where can... Okay, I can't really move anywhere. Can I like mine just random rocks or something? Or like, do you want me to go in the mine again? Like, where is the mine? I'm lost. I mean, I could just go... Oh, hang on. There it is. No, don't do that. Sorry, that was an accident. So I can't go to the mine. I can discover this and discover that and discover that. Might be phosphorus. Let's go see. So I assume there's just little rock piles around the place. Electrum. Uh, electrum. Uh, ferrous. Not what we want. We want phosphorus. Uh, ferrous. No. Okay, so now I know what I'm looking for, uh, which is good. So we're looking for... Discover that. Phosphorus. Ferrous? A lot of ferrous around here. Discover. Hello. Electrum. More electrum. Okay. Need some phosphorus. Maybe it's right outside my thing. That would probably be true. No? Ferrous? Fer a lot of ferrous. A lot, a lot of ferrous. Can't discover those. Just checking. Uh, any more little rock? A lot of little flower things around the place, which is great, but I don't want to use those. Discover these two. Hello, hello. Phosphorus! Hello, right at the back of my place. Alright, so we got two phosphorus. And it's one of me to successfully mine three times. Yeah, we'll just go grab one of these as well. Whoops, sorry. Collect. Four phosphorus. Okay, so now we have enough. Now we can... Um, and we've also done one of our daily tasks. Let's enter Smithy. Can, can the walls go down? Oh, there we go. Alright, so forge uh, a crab hammer. Okay, let's do it. Your sim just used a blacksmithing object. Would you like to learn more? Uh, do I need to learn more or is he just doing... Uh, I feel like he's just doing a thing. So we want the heat to get up but not too hot, I guess. Quality's going down. Progress. I guess there's things you can do to make it more ideal. Maybe I should... Maybe I'll bring some more of this stuff off camera. After a lot of hard work, Jenny, no, sorry, JJ successfully forged a normal quality cram hammer. It's been placed in Kevin's inventory. <sighs> now I can get all the crab shells I want, assuming I'm not eviscerated by giant half crab, half man. Be can, can my wall stop? What are you doing? All right, so harvest a full shell from the cave. Continue. Okay, well, you have some food first. You're actually really, you're really hungry. Eat first. And then, uh, do you want to go? No, don't relax. Sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Go sleep. Let's just sleep for a little bit. JJ has shirked his responsibility. At 9 a.m., a new opportunity to gain focus will be made available. Oh, what? Do I, I mean, I did that. Do I have to do both of them? I failed. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I failed that one. No. All right. Didn't realize I had to do both of them. I thought I just had to do one or two. I mean, his focus is now awful. It's unfortunately. Uh... But I, I think we'll be okay. Let's just... I just want to finish this little quest because I feel like we're nearing the end of this quest. Like, I, I think we just have to go to the thingamabob and then we're good. Where's my uh, mine? All right, harvest a full shell. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go do it, bro. You can do it. He's not feeling too focused, but should be okay. All right. Jenny... No, it's JJ snuck quietly back into the crab's den and spied from afar. What a peculiar beast, he thought. Though its mustache is quite significant. Magnificent, sorry. <laughs> I cannot read. When the crab thing had passed, Kevin slipped further into the cave until he found another creature's cast off shells. This time, the crab hammer neatly cleaved the shell into manageable chunks. As JJ collected the pieces, a telltale scuttling sound began to echo from a nearby chamber. JJ grabbed up the last chunk and quickly escaped to the surface. Oh, that was easy. Good thing I didn't need to focus. That was close. I think I'm going to make this a one-time event. A smith with no arms is not much of a smith at all. Right, return to smithy. I will return to smithy. Let's do it. Returning. Hells to the year. 
I have just enough material to forge one masterpiece, but what to make? Okay, so what should JJ make with a crab shell? Giant crab shell nearly killed me with a nice sword. Perhaps someone can repay the favor. A suit of armor. Perfect. Ooh, defense or attack? I feel like if this is the only thing... Oh, actually, I guess it'd be good because it's the only thing that can cut... The only thing that can cut it is itself. So really, as armor or a sword, it'd be good. Sword. Let's go sword. The sword will take a few more materials than just the crab shell, but the finished piece shall be magnificent. Oh, really? What do I need? Craft of the long claw. Okay. Forge. Let's see. Uh, the long claw. Mithril. We've got two. Is my mineral dealer right here? Home. Trait. Can I not but just buy more from you? Because you're my mineral dealer. Okay, no, I guess I can't. I need more mithril. You know what? That will save it for next part on The Sims Medieval. Uh, it's pretty cool. We're, we're getting some. We're getting somewhere now. We've got a. We've got a smithy. We've got a uh, a bippity boopity uh, over at the this place. And by bippity boopity, I mean this place is furnished. Look at that. That's a throne room and a half. It's beautiful. Uh, if I've ever seen a throne room, which I, I well, I guess I have. That, that light is floating from nowhere, which is fantastic. That chamber stops there. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Right, so stay tuned for part three with more medieval madness. Double M. Look at those books. So many books. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.